Hi, and welcome to another video by The Peppy Techie. Today's video is on animating images in PowerPoint. You can animate images that come with PowerPoint or that you can search for on the internet. You just have to make sure they are drawings and not photos. And we're going to show you how to do that. So here's another image that was animated. And it actually looks like it's being drawn right on the screen. So how do we do this? First of all, it's easy. You have to find a drawing, not a photo. And one of the ways you can search is make sure you search for a Windows mega meta file or an enhanced meta file format, which are usually drawings. So you're going to go to insert. And in 2013, you're going to look for online pictures. And in 2010 and before, you're going to look in your clip art. So insert and look in clip art or online pictures. Now when you go to online pictures, you are actually looking at MicrosoftOffice.com clip art. And when I did my search, I did it for dog and I used a space and put WMF so it would know that I was lo looking specifically for an illustration and not for a picture. You could search on Bing, Google, etc. But I find the Windows Office clip art has a lot of these to choose from. So now when I get my picture under dog, I found this one. The minute I get it into PowerPoint, I'm going to right click on the picture and make sure that this word is there, group. The group allows me to break it up into the parts of the drawing so that I can have it illustrate and animate. So you must see group, and then you want to ungroup. Now you may get a message when you do that, making sure you want to do this, going ahead. So first of all, let's search for an image and animate it. So here we are in our slide. We're going to go to insert, and we're in 2013, so I'll say online pictures, which really is online clip art. In 2010, you'll just say search clip art. And I'm going to put in dog. If I just said dog, you'll notice it will give me pictures as well as Windows Meta files. But if I put dog in Windows Meta file insert, it will just give me illustrations and I can choose from many, many different illustrations. Now not all of these are drawable. Sometimes you have to check. We know this one is, so we're going to insert him. There he is. I'll make him a little bit bigger so you can see him. See what I'm doing. All right. The first thing I want to do is right click on the picture and look for this word right here, group. I'm going to go down to ungroup. And this is the message sometimes you will get. It's saying you're trying to take an imported picture and convert it to a drawing object. Perfect, because we want to draw. So I will say yes. So once I do that, I have to click on it again oops, and go back to group and ungroup so it knows I really want to do it. You'll notice I get a lot of drawing points, which again is what I want because I want to draw this. So as soon you'll notice the nose is a different part, the hands, all of these are different parts, even the background. So as soon as I get this chosen, I'm going to come up to the word animations. And I'm going to make sure that I open up the animation pane. Now, if it isn't open, you just click on this button here that says animation pane. And you're going to look for the, I just click here to add animation so I get all my choices. And again, this is entrance. And I'm going to choose wipe because that's going to make it most look like an illustration. So I choose wipe and it chooses all of them to do, illustrate at the same time. Notice they're all number ones, which is not what we want. So we're going to leave the first one alone, go to the second one, hold the shift key down, and go to the last one in the whole list, and shouldn't get that. When I do that, they're now highlighted. I'm going to right click on one of them and say start after previous, meaning the first one. And when I do that, you'll notice I now get them to start after each one. They're still highlighted because what I want to do now is go to duration. If I did 50.50, .50, a half a second, it would be a very slow drawing. 
So I'm going to use the down arrow and change it to 0 0.25. 0 0.21 is too short. Change this to 1 myself, 1, 5. And I'm going to just come up here to the first one and say play from to see what it looks like. That might even be too fast. So I may want to highlight all of these again. And I'll come up and say 0.25. Play, let's click this one and say play from. And it illustrates the image. That is all there is to it. Here's another image that I've selected. And I, what I'm going to do right now is kind of reverse the activity. I'm going to tell this to group it. So now you'll notice in the animation pane, there is no more animation. It is just a picture without any parts. I went out and just searched for computer, Windows Metafile, WMF. I'm going to right click, go to group, say ungroup. Now I come up to animation. I make sure my animation pane is open. I say add animation and I'm going to say wipe. Now the first thing I'm also going to do is change it from the left because we normally draw left to right. I'm going to highlight the second one down to the last one. I have to right click, start after previous, the time is 0.25. Now pay from, you'll notice it give you a little cascading timeline and now it's going to draw my image. And that's all there is to animating images in PowerPoint. I hope you'll subscribe to the Peppy Techie.